Hello, and welcome to A Priori Storytime List. I am here with Minnie. We're going to hear a wonderful story, we hope. In the early days of Valhalla, a craftsman came to visit. He offered to create a citadel around Asgard, which could keep out the giants who may attack from any direction. The man claimed he could complete the fortification of Asgard in three seasons and for payment demanded that he receive the sun and the moon. The gods, however, thought his choice of payment was steep and negotiated that he would be paid in full if he completed the wall in just one season and that he receives no help from any man. The man accepted this with the condition that his stallion, Svadalfadi, could help. The gods were unsure, but Loki convinced them that even with the help of his horse, the man would not be able to uphold his end of the bargain. So the sun and the moon were not at risk at all. And so the man set to work on the first day of winter. Yet it was his huge stallion that did all the work, effortlessly hauling huge boulders. The progress of the citadel progressed swiftly, and it was so tall and strong that no enemy would be able to take Asgard. Three days before the winter was over, the gods sat down for council and discussed how they could avoid giving the man payment. Whilst discussing this, the gods began to question who had agreed to the man's terms in the first place. The consensus was that Loki was to blame. The evil Loki was demanded to obstruct the craftsmen from completing the last part of the citadel so that they would not need to pay him. Loki would face violence and death if not. So he swore oath that he would stop the man and his horse from completing the citadel. Whilst the man was working that evening, a mare appeared from a nearby forest and neighed toward the stallion. The mare was in heat and the stallion broke away from his work and ran away into the woods following the other horse. The man was not happy that his stallion had gotten away. He became enraged when Svadalfan ran with the mare all night and the next day and he could not finish the citadel in time. The gods, noticing the man's wrath, realized that he was in fact a giant and that they had been well and truly duped. They called for Thor to kill the giant. Thor swung Mjolnir into the giant's head. The heavy blow killed him instantly. The force sending his body flying to Niflheim and cast tiny pieces of his skull across the nine realms. It then became clear that it was Loki who had stopped the completion of the citadel. He had disguised himself as the mayor to which Svadalfadi left the giant to be with and had become pregnant with the stallion's foal. Loki later gave birth to a gray eight-legged horse he called Sleipnir. It was the best horse among gods and men, so Loki gifted Sleipnir to Odin. This comes to us courtesy of Anna Louise, to whom we thank. We also thank you and Minnie. Welcome to Someday Farm. Thank you all.